Well, welcome back everybody to the St. Paul Handicapable Ministry YouTube worship service on this November the 27th, 2024. I want to get right to our singing. Jesse, what about this little light? And oh, be careful. Here we go. Oh, you okay. Renee's got her lights on. Renee, can you come up here and be an inspiration to all of us and show us what we're supposed to do when we sing the words about this little light of mine? Oh, she's going to watch me. Okay. All righty. Chrissy, you want to come up here again? Where's Chris? Come on. Okay, Megan, you and Chrissy come on back up. You want to? All right. Okay, that's okay, Crystal. Just don't get on that, okay, babe? We don't, I don't want anybody stepping on that because we may fall off. We don't want to have anybody falling off the furniture here, okay? You ready? You going to come be the light too, Dawn? Here we go. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no, I'm going to let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no, I'm going to let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Let it shine till Jesus comes, I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine till Jesus comes, I'm going to let it shine, let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine. All righty, look who came in the front door up there. None other than young Dirk. Dirk, get up here, son. We're doing the echo song. Woohoo, baby. Here we go. Little drum roll out there. Oh, you like that? Okay. Thank you so much, man. Okay. All right, you ready to go? Okay, let's see. We got the going. All right, y'all ready? We got five things. What are the five things we need to be aware of? Starting right up here at the top. Eyes. Tongue. Hands. Feet. All right, we got it. Oh, be careful, my eyes, not what you see, what you see. Oh, be careful, my eyes, not what you see, what you see. For the Father up above is looking down in love. So be careful, my eyes, what you see, what you see. Oh, be careful, my ears, not what you hear, what you hear. Oh, be careful, my ears, not what you hear, what you hear. For the Father up above is looking down in love. So be careful, my ears, what you hear, what you hear. Oh, be careful, my tongue, not what you say, what you say. Oh, be careful, my tongue, not what you say, what you say. For the Father up above is looking down in love. So be careful, my high tongue, what you say, what you say. Oh, be careful, my hands, not what you do, what you do. Oh, be careful, my hands, not what you do, what you do. For the Father up above is looking down in love. So be careful, my high hands, what you do, what you do. Oh, be careful, my feet, now where you go, where you go. Oh, be careful, my feet, now where you go, where you go. For the Father up above is looking down in love. So be careful, my feet, where you go, where you go. Big hand for Dirk. Woohoo! Way to sing that song. Magic Penny. I love that song. This is a song that was actually introduced many, many years ago by founder Bill Fritz, and it's got a powerful message about love that we should share the love. What's so unique about the magic penny? Do we want to hold on to it? Or do we want to lend it, spend it, and share it with others so we'll have so many that roll all over the floor? Here we go. Love is something if you give it away, 
Give it away, give it away. Hey, love is something if you give it away, you'll end up having more. It's just like a magic penny. Hold it tight and you won't have any. Lend it, spend it, and you'll have so many. They'll roll all over the floor. Hey, love is something if you give it away. Give it away, give it away. Hey, love is something if you give it away. You end up having more. Back in uh, 2022, we had a fabulous uh, Handy Capable Bowling Hug Christmas party. And this is a little video that Jesse's put together. I know you'll enjoy it and it'll bring back a lot of memories. Jesus' promise to us comes from Philippians 4, verse 13. And him who is the source of my strength, I have strength for everything. Never forget that. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. I dear Heavenly Father, as we uh, enter into the Christmas season this next month, we're just so thankful for your sending your Son into the world to live among us and to be able to show us the way that we should live our lives, the way we should go and show other people how to bring them into the open arms of Jesus. Continue to pour your blessings on this church. Oh, Father, continue to pour your blessings on all of our ministries here. And we're just so thankful for the many, many ways that you've blessed us here, and especially for all the volunteers and all the people who have helped make this ministry what it is as we are in our 28th year of doing ministry here. Bless us in all that we do, for we ask these things in Christ's name. Amen. All right, being thankful, the last subject I want to talk about is none other with so thankful Dr. Bill Fritz and Handy Capable. One of his favorite Bible verses and is certainly mine as well comes from Luke 14, verse 13. It says, when you throw a party, invite the poor, the crippled, the lame and the blind, and you will be blessed. This Dr. Bill Fritz, that's a picture that was actually taken of him when he first uh, he came and he got involved with the handicapped ministry. And he really hadn't changed very much, and he certainly aged in 28 years, just like all of us. All right, we want to thank uh, Dr. Bill for starting Handy Capel. It actually started back in October of 1997. Started with a total of seven people that were there. Those are some pictures that came from that first meeting when that was held many, many years ago. Some of the teaching methods that Bill used was the fact when he first started out, his goal was to try to have one volunteer for each student. And as long as we were pretty small, he could continue to keep that ratio going, but he'd have an adult that would be there that could help the student when he came to Bible lesson or when he came to helping to sing the song. And then he kind of graduated to where he used flip charts that he would use that we would talk about things. And something that we did when we moved from 
the room that we had here in the CLEC that, that we called it, which is now the Community <laughs> Worship Center, that uh, Bill actually moved across the street when we owned that property over there. We started having skits. And we have, you can see the picture right there that uh, our dear friend Ty Shapiro, who was a volunteer for years and helped with the beginning of the ministry, he served in the role of Moses. And there's one of our handy students that had the opportunity to participate in that. Also, Bill started social events. He knew it was important for us to have the, the worship side and uh, the ministry side of teaching about Jesus, but also in you it's important to have fun. These are some of the pictures that were taken from pictures that all of you who were part of the ministry back then, there's uh, Andrea right there. That was the first talent show that we had and that came the second year after uh, Bill had launched the ministry, and then that's a picture from one of our uh, Western holdown parties that we had, Bill and his wife Joan, and also you see a Bill right there, and that was a costume party. Boy, did he ever have the best costumes that he could put on. Bill, you're a lifetime of memories for all of us. One of the things that he did back then was had a special recognition, uh, like a, an event, and each person was individually recognized and awarded some type of certificate. Now we've incorporated into special recognition in a part of the worship service that we have in person. It's called Handy About Town. And each week, most weeks in a week, we try to recognize somebody who's been doing something in the community, whether it's participating in Special Olympics, or they're participating in plays that are taking place throughout the community, or just various roles like that. Another thing that he launched many, many years ago when he got Maria to come in and lead it was our Special Olympics. And Maria just did a fantastic job of leading the athletes and also we have Crossroads. Crossroads is large enough and they've been uh, a participating member of the Handicap Ministry for years and years. They have their own Crossroads Special Olympic teams. But that gave the students an opportunity to go out and participate and help them with their health matters. Another thing that's going to be coming up soon here at uh, St. Paul it's a handicapable Thanksgiving worship service. And uh, that shows you on the picture, the first one that we had, they were, we were on stage, and that was like uh, the first year that they had, because the ministry started in October, we didn't have it that uh, Thanksgiving, but the following year, they were the ones who were involved in the ministry. Uh, it started and we had a little program we did on the stage there. And each year since then, except when we were closed by COVID, we've continually had a Thanksgiving worship service that Handy Capel has put on and provided the whole program. And also we've had some of the ministries who participated in that. We've been blessed beyond measure to be able to do that. All right, another way that Bill Fritz introduced things to us, a Handy Capable Retreats. Oh, do we ever have fun. And we used to go up to Leesburg. And you can see the old bus there, that was the old glory bus, and that was one of the first times that we went. In fact, I think that was the first time that we went. There were about 27 of us that got on old glory and went up there, and we had a terrific time. And then we graduated from up at Leesburg and went down to what we call South Camp, Riverside Retreat uh, outside of Fort Myers. And you can see the picture that we used is kind of like one of our signature photos talking about the people under the cross. We took 55 people that went to that trip that time. And what fun that we had there. It gave us an opportunity to spend a weekend together. Vicki and Ola and some of the other volunteers prepared the best meals. She had all different type of crafts that we did. We had Bible study time, recreational things that we did. There were some of us that played golf and we had so much fun just being there. Now, unfortunately, we haven't been able to do those in recent years. We've just, our ministry has grown so large, and it just takes a lot of uh, participation from volunteers to make those things happen. But we do more things socially now as a result. But anything, also getting into the Christmas time, we've been having an annual Christmas banquet and a Christmas party, and through the years, that has been just a fabulous thing. This year, we've got our Christmas party. It's scheduled for December the 13th. We're expecting and anticipating to have reservations set for 225 people. That's going to be more information that's going to be going out. Those of you who attend in person, it'll give you the opportunity 
uh, starting uh, in November that you can start actually receiving invitations and get your reservations in. It's going to be a wonderful time gathering for our Christmas party. All right, I think that gives you an overview of what we've been doing with Handy Capable and how fortunate we are for the start of that ministry by our dearly beloved Bill Fritz and his lovely wife Joan. All right, to become better followers of Jesus, we need to follow Jesus, read, believe, and act on his word, and we need to pray for strength and guidance. We do those things, it's going to help us keep us on that narrow path, and most importantly of all, it's going to draw us closer to the Lord and Savior, God and the Holy Spirit, so we can go about and truly be disciples of His in the local community and beyond. We love you with the love of the Lord, and we'll see you again next week. Have a great day.